Hi all of you Wilson Scuba Divers out there, welcome to Scuba Diving Magazine, your favourite place for the latest scuba diving news and gear reviews. We are well into 2024 and the scuba diving season is just about to start, uh, unless you dive throughout the winter season. Uh, but with the start of the diving season means that we're all opening up our dive lockers and dusting off our own dive equipment and realising that we probably didn't wash it quite as properly as we should have done before we put it away. But whether you're replacing an ageing dive computer or investing in your very first dive computer i'm going to be taking a look at 10 of my favorite dive computers for various reasons right now as of early 2024 now sure there are going to be other great dive computers out there um, but i'm going to be sticking to the bigger brands that are going to be a bit more easily available in most countries The Shearwater Turn was released in early 2024, and to put it simply, it's a watch-sized color screen recreational computer. It's a bit like a Terek Lite, where the Shearwater Terek is held in such high esteem, the premium price tag and a lot of the more technical features could push off some divers. So Shearwater removed some of those more technical features that most divers don't really use, and they reduced the price for a more entry-level dive computer in the turn. Color screen, rechargeable battery, optional wireless air integration, whether you go for the turn or the turn TX, further reducing the cost if you're not interested in AI. And it functions much the same as a Terek, which is renowned for its user interface. So really nice design, really easy to get used to, and a nice clear screen. When Garmin released the Descent Mark III i, they wanted to make the definitive smartwatch that will be the only computer that you'll ever need. Uh, it's actually quite difficult to compare the Mark III i to traditional dive computers because it just has so many extra features above and beyond what even the big dive brands can produce. On top of all of the diving features, which are plentiful, the Mark III i is a fully tricked out smartwatch that has GPS, uh, sporty heart rate monitoring, and a plethora of surface features, making the Descent Mark III i one of the best dive computers out there. It is a solid all-rounder. But of course, all of those fancy features do come at a price. Literally, the Mark III i is one of the most expensive dive computers out there. But if you do want an all-singing, all-dancing smartwatch that's also a very powerful dive computer, it's well worth the investment. If you're less Android operating system inclined and you want your dive computer to connect to your iPhone, the Apple Watch Ultra has scuba diving features. Apple partnered up with Oceanic to develop the diving side of the Ultra. It's aimed more at recreational divers and it has Apple's signature simplicity built into it. No complicated settings or confusing screen layouts or user interface. It's very clean and easy to understand. Much like the Garmin, the Apple Watch Ultra isn't cheap because of all of its fancy surface features, and it also has a subscription-based dive features. You can still go diving with it um, without that subscription, but some features are hidden behind a paywall. You do get different payment plans if you are interested, but if you just want a really basic dive computer, it'll do that as well as the rest of the Apple Watch features. If you're buying an Apple Watch anyway, and you don't need an all singing, all dancing dive computer, then it is a really decent choice. I really like the Eon Core. It's been out for a good few years now, but it's a nice and thin color screen dive computer with all of the features that most divers will ever need. As with many dive computers today, you can change the screen layouts to show the information that you want and either have the just raw numbers or infographics that are a bit more easy to understand at a glance. Built-in rechargeable battery also means that you can top up the battery as you like. Uh, unlike computers with a user changeable battery, where you run the risk of going on a dive with hopefully enough battery for the entire dive, or you risk opening up the computer and then hope that when you put the new one in, the new seal is still intact after changing that battery. 
you can just plug the Eon core in just like your smartphone between dives and just top up the battery as you go. Now, I had to include the Perdix in my list. Similar to the Eon Core, it's a full color screen and is widely considered as one of the, if not the best dive computers out there today. It has a dedicated recreational mode that makes it easy for new divers to understand. And when you then decide to make the move onto technical diving, you can unlock the extra features hidden behind the scenes and customize the dive screen as you need to. The Perdix runs off a single double A side battery, so replacements are very easy to find, and the Perdix can be your dive computer for many, many years going forwards, where a computer with a rechargeable battery may lose its charge over time. With the Perdix, you just keep changing those batteries. a very popular dive computer and for good reason. The Zoop Novo has a strong heritage as a very affordable dive computer with a sensible screen size and multiple button interface where most budget dive computers only have a single button which can be hard to navigate the Zoop Novo has a four button user interface for ease of use it's much easier to navigate around the menu structure with four buttons instead of one it also has a partial dot matrix screen in the center that can display more complicated information without using like small confusing icons. It can spell things out in words. Compared to other computers in its price range, the Zoop Novo has a better screen and a better user interface. Maris Sirius is a new color screen watch size computer with a rechargeable battery. A computer that you can wear day to day and on the dive site as well. That's thanks to its quick change strap. So if the regular watch strap isn't quite long enough to go around your wetsuit or your dry suit, then you can swap the straps over quickly without using any tools. You don't have to use two fiddly little screwdrivers to undo the strap. You just retract one little section and then hook on the longer strap. Wireless air integration and all of the diving modes that you can shake a stick at, the Sirius is a very nice dive computer at a sensible price compared to other color screen air integrated dive computers. Myris computers have always been very affordable. The new Luna 2.0 is a large screen computer with a beautifully slim design. There are two versions of the Luna, one with and then one without wireless air integration, depending on whether you want that feature. The low power screen display and the user changeable button battery means that the Luna will last for years. You can pair the Luna up with an optional heart rate monitor belt that you wear over your chest that the Luna can then receive that information and it can actually uh, tailor your dive profile based on how warm or cold you are and how much work you're doing. If the Luna notices that you're working particularly hard or you're quite cold on the dive, then it will adjust your dive profile accordingly to make it a bit more conservative. Or if you're nice and warm and it's a nice chilled out dive, it'll let you stay down longer. The Shearwater Peregrine is a lovely dive computer. Similar to the Turn, it's sort of a light version of the Perdix that I mentioned earlier, with a lot of the technical features just taken out. The Perdix has a rechargeable battery and everything that an entry level and even a pretty advanced scuba diver will need. Bluetooth lets you pair it to your smartphone so you can download dives and updates and all that good stuff. And the vibration alerts means that you're not gonna be bugging the entire dive site with a beeping computer every time you go a little bit too deep or it just wants to tell you something. It just vibrates gently on your wrist. If you like the idea of the Descent Mark III, but you don't like the price tag, there's the Descent G1 range. Instead of the color screen, you have a super clear MIP display, which draws less power, and the G1 Solar also has a solar panel built around the face to top up the battery as you wear it outside in the sun. It's a nice, 
neat, sensibly priced dive computer with everything from apnea nitrox trimix and rebreather modes for your scuba diving to heart rate monitoring, GPS, compass, pairing to your smartphone, all of those surface features. There's a cheaper non-solar version as well, so you can go real budget. And there's also a new ocean edition, which is made from recycled plastics if you want to be a little friendlier to the ocean. Now, I know there are going to be a lot of what about comments under this uh, video. As I said at the start, uh, I had to whittle it down to just 10. And some of these versions are like light versions of other dive computers, but they still have a place in my list for more budget conscious divers. Sure, it is nice to have computers with a million settings and functions, but if there's a cheaper version without the features that you're never really gonna use anyway, the cheaper version makes a lot of sense. And most of the people watching these kind of videos are gonna be new entry level scuba divers who aren't gonna be interested in like an Apex DSX because it's got a lot of additional features that they're most likely not gonna use. And if you are the key demographic for something like a DSX, then you're not going to need one of these videos. You know what you're going to need in a dive computer. Either way, let me know what your favorite dive computer is at the moment and why. Uh, the beginning of the dive season also sees the Go Diving show here in the UK. So if you want to see and touch the latest scuba diving equipment, talk to the big brands, uh, the retailers, some tour operators as well, along with lots of workshops to improve your skills, talks on the big stage from lots of famous divers, and there's even a pool so you can test things out. Tickets are available, just head over to godivingshow.com. Thank you for watching everybody, and of course, safe diving.